the concept of fascia, and I just kept thinking inflamed fascia, could, could inflamed fascia actually cause all of this body-wide pain that I have? And if that's the case, there was no exercise for that. So today, myofascia is a very big buzzword in the fitness industry, and everybody's a myofascial expert. However, fascia plays a role in all aspects of stability, not just your, you know, giving your joint shock absorption and giving your muscles synergy. Fascia plays a role in cellular health, in your immune functions, uh, in your respiratory health, in your neurological health. So fascia is the stability architecture and the recent research that really just in the last decade that we're now pointing to fascia and oncology and cancer and mm -hmm. um, all of these disorders and diseases being an inflammatory effect of the fascial system. So if you feel like you already understand fascia, I would guarantee that you don't. <laughs> And I think there's a lot to still know. Uh, the research is 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 really evolving. Uh, there is a fascia congress coming up in September of 2023. I think it's our sixth or seventh international fascia congress. Um, but for me, I just know that fascia is a renewable resource in your body. And what melt is, is a way to rehydrate or restore the fluid component, the fluid mo mobility of the fascial system to help the collagen matrix bind and maintain its elastic to stiff properties, which are super critical. Uh, and, and in the case of pelvic pain is one of the most critical players is understanding how to address fascial dysfunction beyond the myofascial layers. And if we can get a handle on that, we can also help people with their overall health, their immune system, their neurological stability, um, their chemical stability. Uh, and, and also with women, a lot of the research on estrogen, estro there's mm -hmm. most of our estrogen is in the fascial system and in our fatty tissues and the superficial fascia. So if our connective tissue is not in a stable condition, we have a higher tendency to feel pain. So hormones and all of these things that relate uh, are all inherently linked to the fascial system. So I think um, if you're working with a living human body, take time to seek out teachers that are specific to fascial research and how to then embody that and blend that into your practice.